Hey, what's up? My name is Jason Mayfield. I'm the host of Grace for Life TV. Got a thread on me. In this video, I wanna talk about developing your own Bible marking system. Okay, so I am not the king of the Bible marking system. However, after years of willy-nilly uh, writing in my Bible, I kinda, going into a new Bible, have developed a system. It's still a loose system. I'm still working on it. And I'm gonna tell you how I developed it or how I am developing it, but more importantly, I wanna tell you why you need to do it. If you write in your Bible a lot, there is a tipping point between this thing has a lot of notes in it and this thing has a lot of extra ink that is totally incomprehensible. I think having a system helps to keep that from happening, helps you to have everything sorted and organized where at a glance you can make sense of what you're looking at on the page. Now. What I use are Sharpie art pens, which I actually have out here. Um, in another video, you've probably seen that I was using highlighters. I've gotten away from highlighters a little bit. I actually keep my little system key right there, as well as I put it in my Bible. Uh, that way, if it changes over the years, that Bible, you know, in 50 years, I'll be able to look at it and know, oh, blue meant this in this Bible, even though blue means this now. So, you know, thinking, thinking down the road to when I'm 82 years old. So I'm not gonna use these though, because that's what I do. They're a little more expensive. I just did a video reviewing the Paper Mate Ink Joys. Uh, great for the money. You're gonna get a little bit of bleed through, maybe a little bit more than you will with any kind of archival ink, such as the Sharpie Art Pen or um, any kind of Pigma Microns. But um, this pack of Pigma Microns costs roughly $20. This whole pack of pens cost about three or four dollars. I got them four dollars at Target. They look cheaper on Amazon Prime. So all you need is your pens or highlighters or markers or whatever you use to write in your Bible, your uh, blank piece of paper. I've got a little index card here. I'm not gonna use the line side. I'm gonna use the blank side. And if you're gonna use the Ink Joys, I would suggest that you toss in a yellow highlighter as well, because there is no yellow, and I think a yellow highlighter could really help. So, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the individual colors, because there's a couple duplicates. And we're gonna decide what we're gonna use. We'll take the black out, because we're gonna do our notes in black, and add our highlighter. So, we're gonna make a line for each one of these. And let's just be done with this. All right, there you go. So we've got all of our colors listed out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to assign each one of these to be something. And again, you could do uh, all of these pens with certain highlighters, and you can do all kinds of different stuff. It's up to you, you get to decide. I do like having a nice multicolor pack like this, or like the Sharpie accents that are retractable. Those are really nice, because they have like six colors in there. And the more colors you have, the more options you have. And even though you may get a lot of colors, every color may not be viable. The um, Sharpie art pens come with tons of colors, but there's probably about seven of them that you really can't use because they're either too light to show up or they blend too much with a similar color. Like the two greens are just too similar to one another and you want more of a clear um, line between what you're marking. So uh, th for instance, you'd have to really decide, but these blues and greens I think are actually, there's enough difference in these ink joys. So we're gonna take our black pen. Now we're gonna assign each one of these a thing. It's not written in stone, so you can change this at any time. It's your Bible, it's your system. You can do what you want. It's your world. If you live in America, this is America. If you don't live in America, th this is still America. That is where you're at. Anyway, so yellow, basic highlight. Always do that. Blue, we'll just assign, I'm just gonna start assigning stuff. Some of these will be the ones I use, but we'll do grace. For the dark blue, we'll do mercy, because those are Grace and mercy, they're very similar. Uh, for orange, we'll do wisdom. For brown, we'll do... Uh, chocolate. 
I don't know if you're going to find that in the scripture, so you may not have a lot of brown in there. That was all I could think of for brown, other than inappropriate poo-poo jokes. I had a few come to me. I refrained. Purple, we'll do kingdom. Uh, green, light green, we will do prosperity. Red, we will do law. Uh, bright green, we'll do favor. Again, there's no, I'm just making stuff up off the top of my head here. So this, this is not the system. You're going to come up with your own stuff. Um, and then the pink, we will do um, power. So any kind of miracle or anything like that. Okay, so perfect. Then I took my system a step further and I have my sticky notes. And so I said that if it was red, red on sticky questions to be answered. And then I also did if it was a note in purple ink on a sticky, and these are actually things that I am using. Purple on a sticky is a thought that was prompted by the verse, but not in the verse. So for instance, I always tell people um, uh, uh, Genesis 1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Okay, uh, that means that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. That's what it means. But it also could mean that in one day, God can do more than I could do in a lifetime. That is nowhere in the text, but it's kind of a thought that just comes from the text. So I might put that on a sticky on purple and just stick it in there. And uh, I don't remember what I was reading, but yesterday I was reading something that gave me a thought about um, staff leadership in churches. Nothing to do with that at all, but it got my brain processing in that direction. So what I'm gonna do with this now is I'm either gonna take me a pin case or a Ziploc bag or whatever, I'm gonna throw all my stuff in there, keep this with it at all times, and then I'm probably gonna take my Bible and there's my plan, it looks like a crossword puzzle, and I'm gonna write it in my Bible as well, that way I know what my system is. And uh, again, if you wanna change this at any time, it is, your prerogative because it's your Bible. So that is the simple and easy way to create your own Bible marking system. I would really encourage you to mark the things that are specifically important to you and your ministry and your particular calling. You need to stay in your lane. This was Dave Ramsey's Bible. I would encourage him to always make sure that green has to do with money and getting out of debt. But if this was John Piper's Bible, green being money probably isn't as important. But for Dave Ramsey, it is that's his ministry. He needs to be able to look at his Bible and the lane that God has put him in. He needs to be able to make sure that he's always ministering and driving down that lane. Where John Piper, maybe not so much. So for me, it's all about grace. So I have a lot of markings about grace and the law and money because money is also an important thing in our world being business owners. So all that to say, knock yourself out. Why don't you drop in the comments below what you're using for your Bible marking system and just because I'm sure other people will be interested, what are your favorite writing utensils for your Bible? We'll see you guys later on. I'm praying that you will continue to experience grace for life through Jesus Christ.